Hi, Martha, I'm Rabbi Nellie Bierman, and this is Metaphysical Ministry International. I'd like to welcome you to our gathering. I'm so glad that you came by. Well, what in the world is a metaphysical ministry? Well, it has absolutely nothing to do with religion. It has everything to do with metaphysics and with spirituality. You've probably heard about quantum physics, the way life actually works. Even though it's something that we can't see, the scientists out there are able to prove what's going on. Well, metaphysics is the spiritual aspect and explanation for what is going on, explained by quantum physics. Got that? We begin each week with a happy share. A happy share is something that made you feel really happy, at peace. Please. I know something that happened specifically for you. It's not about what happened for your spouse, or your partner, for your parents, or your kids, or even your best friend. It's something that happened for you. Now, once you start creating the habit of happiness, which is what you do by looking for a happy share every day, there are just so many. Let me choose one, and the one that I'm going to pick today is one that I'm extremely happy about. That is, this week I started being able to use my far infrared massage bed. I haven't been able to use it for almost 10 months because I couldn't lie on my back. I still can't lie down on my back and use it because of things in my body that aren't quite in place yet. But I can use it in a way that's very healthy, beneficial, and I don't think there's anything much more relaxing than a far infrared massage bed where it normally used the far infrared lamps are going up and down your spine and what I'm doing is sitting the other direction so I'm resting my spine against tourmaline which is well it has negative eye odds plus all of the characteristics of the far infrared it's healing it feels fabulous and what I do each morning is I lie down there and I meditate meditating always takes me someplace where I get lots of answers and the really exciting thing for me is I'm not somebody who usually visualizes. I don't usually see pictures. I usually feel things. While I've been meditating this week on my bed, I'm seeing very vivid, most of them pretty weird, but very vivid pictures. I'm extremely happy about that. So that is my really big happy share this week. Now, usually at this time, I would go in and do a meditation with you. But you know what? I have something that I think is just so important that I want to talk about that instead. And what I want to talk about is how your energy is impacted by relationships. And therefore, your ability to receive from the world is impacted by relationships. I have a question for you. When you get up in the morning, you pop out of bed or you just kind of make your way out of bed? Do you experience a droop in the afternoon after lunch, whether or not you've had a sandwich, high carbs, turkey, all those things that would make you sleepy anyway? Are you reaching for a coffee, tea, candy bar just to get you through the rest of the day? There's a very good reason your energy is very low. A very good reason. Picture that your body has 100 circuits of energy feeding into it every day because that's how many circuits of energy you need to make it through that day. So you open your eyes and you remember, oh, I got a presentation this morning at work. I need to put the finishing touches on it. I got to get going quickly. And in your haste, you pop out of bed and you, ooh, you stub your toe. Well, stubbing the toe is going to grab Oh, let's say about three circuits of energy, because when you're hopping around and it's hurting, you're definitely using up some of that energy that's meant to last the whole day. Now, you go in, you get showered, you get washed, you comb in your hair, and you're having one of those bad hair days. No matter what you do, your hair won't look right. You know, how come that always happens on the day when you have a presentation and on the day nobody's going to see you? Everything's perfect. Well, I don't know why, but that bad hair day is costing you another three circuits. 
So you spent more time than usual, and now your time is so short, you got to run out the door, you don't have time to grab your, hopefully, nutritious breakfast. And that breakfast is meant to fuel you through the morning, so gradually you're losing even more energy. You get in the car, and even though that little voice tells you, turn off the road at this exit right now, you say, that's ridiculous, that's not my exit. And you keep plodding along, and very quickly, you stop and stand still. Traffic, because that intuition is your higher self, your spirit, telling you, I know there's a traffic jam ahead. Let's save you the trouble. Let's get you out of here. Okay, so sitting in the traffic jam, being fearful you're going to be late, now you know you're probably not going to have time to brush up or tweak your presentation before you have to give it. You've lost another five circuits of energy. So let's see, has anybody been keeping track? I think we're about down 14 circuits now. Haven't even gotten to your workplace. You go in, you do your presentation, and of course there's always the presentation you do in your head afterwards where it kind of goes like, I should have said this. Why didn't I notice that their faces were asking questions and I didn't stop to clarify? All of these things growing in your head on your second after presentation exists only up here. By the time you go to your lunch to feed and fuel your system, you're already down to 45 circuits of energy to make it through the day. The rest of the stressful things that are happening in your life, every single one of them at work, even the things you don't know about. There's somebody sitting, oh, five deaths down, and they're having a horrible time in their personal relationship. They're not talking about it. They're not saying a word. They're doing their best to leave it outside the door to the office, but guess what? It's impacting you. It's impacting you and every other person on the floor, maybe even in the whole building. And what is it doing? It's negative energy down here. Well, it's pulling your energy down even further. That's why you're droopy in the afternoon. Now, what happens when, because you can see already in the afternoon, if you're down somewhere around the 30 circuits and you still have the rest of the day and the evening, maybe with your partner, maybe you have to work at home, maybe you get to go out and play racquetball, whatever it is, it's going to take energy, right? But you're already so low in energy from your day's allotment of 100 circuits. Where the heck are you going to borrow energy for the day? There is no energy bank. You're going to take that energy from your organs, from your cells, in your body. Your brain's going to take its first priority of energy, leaving your body vulnerable to losing energy to feed you to get you through the day, and that is how illness, dis-ease, conditions, pain, hurt begins. You need to take care of yourself. You need to know yourself. You need to love yourself. You need to know how to feed yourself, to fuel your energy, and to stop the dream around you. That's something I can help you with, but only if you ask for help. Now, if you're on the ministry page and you look up there, you will see a page that says, hold a space for. Holding a space means to take part in somebody's vision to make it real for them. So if they want to have a new car, or they want to refurnish their home, or maybe they'd like some new clothes, or they want to take a trip, or maybe they're looking for a new partner. Whatever it is, and you do this too, you scroll down in the comments section, and you write, please hold the space for it, you write your vision. Now, it will magically appear not just down there, but also up on that page. What you do is come back each week, at least once a week. You tell all your friends to do this too. And you read the name and the hold the space for a vision for each person there. It doesn't matter if you don't know who they are. You read the name as best you can and what it is they want to make manifest and make real in their lives. They will do the same for you. The universe knows who everybody is. 
So what is it that's not in your life now that you really, really would like to have in your life? <laughs> I was going to show you all the hundred circuits and do a whole diagram for you, and that's why this is here. Okay. <laughs> Next time. Anyway, I'm so glad that you came by today. If you haven't done so already, please go on over there and pick up your copy of How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Path. And I also appreciate your going down there. Oh, what up you? And click on Share and let people know or here. I start him in that physical ministry because all my life I was looking for people who think and feel like I do, like-minded people when it comes to spirituality. And I couldn't find them no matter where I live until I came here. I found a congregation that was close enough so that I could become ordained. And I realized, you know what, if there are other people there who can't find what they're looking for, I'm going to do this online. And that's why Metaphysical Ministry International is here for you online. And please share it with other people you know who aren't able to find their match for their spiritual belief. Again, I'm thanking you for coming by today. I'm so glad to have seen you, and you've seen me, and I can see you even better when you scroll down and leave a comment. Enjoy a very wonderful week. Pay attention to where your energy is going. Learn how to be aware, to be able to stop it from falling out when you need it. Thank you. Blessings.